To accept Bitcoin on your Shopify store, it's actually very simple. So the first thing we need to do is to open our web browser and you want to go to the Shopify login page and you want to log into your Shopify account. In this case, I'm going to use my NordPass password manager, which you can get with the link in the description. So once you are signed in, you want to go ahead and choose one of your Shopify stores. And in this case, I'm going to use my example store. So once you're on the back end of your Shopify store, all we need to do now is click on the settings icon in the bottom left hand corner. And then from here, you just want to click on the payments tab on the left hand side menu. Now your payments tab may look something like this, where you need to go ahead and set up Shopify payments. So to do this, you want to click on complete account setup. And all you need to do now is set up the Shopify payments form, where you need to go ahead and enter in business details and personal details, along with your banking information at the very bottom. Once you've done this, you want to click on complete account setup. So once you've activated your Shopify payments, it will look like this. So to activate Bitcoin as a payment method, all you need to do is scroll down to where it says additional payment methods and you want to click on add payment methods. From here, we can either search via payment methods or we can search via payment method provider. In this case, we're going to search payment methods. I'm going to type in Bitcoin, and then you want to select the Bitcoin option. You then get a list of Bitcoin payment providers. So you just want to choose one of these and the most common one is the Coinbase Commerce. So once you've selected a payment provider, you just want to click on the activate button next to it and you just want to follow this step-by-step -step process to activate Bitcoin as a payment method on your Shopify store. And that is all you need to do to add Bitcoin to your Shopify store. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like and pass on to one who may find it helpful as well. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.